interaction between organisms where one organism benefits, that's the parasite, and the other suffers, the host. Uh, so parasite happy, host not so happy. <laughs> so unlike predation, where you have a predator prey, the parasite's action by itself should not kill the host, although it might be a factor in the host's death. Um, basically, parasites can consume the host and or use the host as a home. For instance, we have the tick, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. He just visits and drinks some of your blood. And you got mosquitoes, they also visit just to drink some blood. Uh, and then there's the head louse, which uh, not only drinks your blood, but it also makes a home um, on you. <laughs> And I've experienced all three of these wonderful creatures. <laughs> now internally, you can have a host such as the hookworms, which live in your intestine and can cause severe bleeding. And lovely tapeworms, who, unlike the others, does not consume the host itself. They use it, you, me, whoever, as a home and absorbs some of the stuff that we eat. So I guess one question is, are there any parasites that are good for humans? Well, there's the tapeworm. Uh, back in the late 1800s, they thought it'd be an excellent way to diet. Um, just take a few tapeworm uh, eggs, have them grow inside you, and you can eat all this wonderful food and not gain any weight. However, they did have some marketing issues. Um, sometimes the tapeworms uh, escape. Well, that comes back to question, are there any parasites good for humans? Well, there is sort of indirectly. There's the parasitic wasp. Now, the parasitic wasp is good for agriculture. It helps with pest control, especially with organic gardening. Specifically, it will find a prey, in this case, uh, not a prey, sorry, a host, in this case an aphid, it'll paralyze them and lay their eggs in it. Uh, it can also do this with caterpillars, which uh, both of these organisms eat things farmers grow. Um, in some cases, the eggs hatch and the larvae eat their way out of the caterpillar, uh, killing it. In other cases, they manage to leave the caterpillar, probably by eating their way out, but they don't kill it and they form their pupa or cocoons on the caterpillar itself. And then they mature into wasps and the caterpillar dies. Um, there's an even weirder case where not only do the wasp larvae eat their way out and form these uh, cocoons, but the caterpillar stays around and guards the cocoons and then dies. Um, which leaves uh, this question. I, I talked about at the beginning that parasites don't directly kill their hosts. So are parasitic wasps misnamed? Are they really parasites? Think about that. Thank you. I love parasites. <laughs>